Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. This time I'm talking about free webcam applications. If you have a webcam, or even if you don't, uh, here are some free applications you can use. Now, um, if you want to take a picture using your webcam, uh, just of yourself or anything, just a snapshot image, uh, you don't actually need any software. And I'll show this to someone and they, they were really surprised to see that Windows has actually got it built, the feature built in. All you need to do is go to my computer, find scanners and cameras, look for your camera, mine's this one, double click, it says please wait as a device initializes and there's my preview. Um, I've taken a picture already but I'll just take another one to show you. As you can see it's a picture of my wall because basically I look terrible and I don't want to show you my face. So that is uh, the Windows XP built in, I think Windows Vista does the same. Now your cam is called yet another webcam software and you'll notice that straight away it's loaded up a preview for me and it's got all these buttons here. Now before you start clicking away, clicking these buttons, you have to go to the settings. Um, yours may come up blank, say no, no source selected. You have to detect the webcam and then choose which one you want. Now Webcam Max is one of my programs. Minicam I'll be showing you in a second. And uh, the Philips one is the one I'm using. So I'm gonna press OK. And then it will turn my webcam on. Hopefully the uh, video hasn't lagged. Now, if I, you then need to go to settings and then edit settings and there's loads of settings here that you can use I'll just be uh, explaining briefly some of them uh, firstly language obviously camera select a new camera again video format but we just want to keep it here really uh, connection now this is if people want to connect to you um, if you upload images of yourself or something onto the internet and you want people to see or if you're streaming uh, you just have to click am I online here to see if you are online and that is the thing if you ever were to connect to me if I ever have this program running it shows um, error because I haven't got it running so uh, what's my URL configure router output so before you start clicking file and start taking pictures of yourself you need to make sure you've got a path ready to do it and you'll notice that it's got ctemp out underscore and then in these uh, these bracket kind of things can't remember the name of them but um, it says 10 now I think you need to, this is, that means an array and basically you can have it set, um, it savers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so um, just making sure that your path is um, exists, so this will go to C10 but it doesn't exist so it will give me an error. Um, you can change the file type here, uh, JPEG, GIF and PNG. Um, you can set it to do it every 30 seconds. Uh, FTP if you want to upload it to um, a web server then uh, you can use this and again JPEG to GIF and PNG image quality so you've got all the things your username and password so I'm um, not sure why um, people would want to do this maybe you want to check uh, occasionally on your web server if uh, I don't know if anything's happening at home um, upload interval every 30 seconds so you can upload your picture take a picture every 30 seconds and upload it HTTP uh, you've got the URLs here how to connect and all things like that this is again I think this is just pictures of yourself that update frequently um, so the port is 8888 uh, streaming is actually live streaming video I believe um, you see my port is 8081 you can stream it as a JavaScript application or Java applet uh, where it loads in the web page and shows you yourself basically uh, you can scale it to different things here uh, it might be dependent on your webcam because my webcam does a maximum of 64480 and obviously the image quality I think the more it is the slower it will be or the um, the more amount of um, things that people have to, more amount of kilobytes people have to download to see it. Uh, we won't go into the additional settings or the page designer, but basically you can make your own little web page. Uh, overlay, you can add text to your uh, webcam feed, so it can say like this is me at the bottom or something like that. Um, four different bits of text that looks like here. Preview it. Image works in the same way. Four different images you can add to your uh, feed or whichever you're going to do. Startup, you can enable these on startup, so basically you can get it to start it straight away. And show a preview, um, you can turn that off. And uh, height to tray bar at start, several things, you can read it, <laughs> it just says several things that you can do. Um, offline image, so if your stream goes offline, then you've got a little image that can replace it. Uh, you can password protect it on your stream. Announce it when you're offline, and then preview it, and things like that. And uh, schedule it for certain days. Um, one thing I, I will show you is that the motion detection thing, so if I say enable, it's on, quickly show you the preview window, I just put my hand in front of it and it just uh, it takes a picture, to, so if you want to monitor people in your room, it will take a picture of it and then you can go into, I think there's a window for motion detection, there we go, it's taken pictures of all the times I'll put my hand in front of the camera to test it, which is quite good. Um, 
so it says motion detection running so I'm going to save that uh, so there's several windows you can do, console capture and all things like that so this is just the main window you'll need and that is your cam now next up is mini cam which is a very, oops I'm already running it, it's in the taskbar it's a very good piece of software now I'm not sure how to get rid of this minicam.com here but it's free to download anyway so regardless of this you could just ignore it I suppose uh, the first thing you want to click is sources and it says uh, cameras and my in, mine is the Philips one again uh, Webcam Max is the software I paid for which pretty much does the same thing as this but this is free so I'm quite miffed that I paid for that but hey um, movies uh, you can basically put a movie into your webcam uh, this can be used as a virtual webcam and allow you to use it across multiple things basically and also because it's using the virtual webcam driver you can uh, share your webcam with something else because usually if you have um, something like if I had your cam open I had the motion detector running if I went to then view it on MSN or something like that it would say it's running in another application you can't use it but many cam will allow you to use the same webcam over lots of uh, different applications so you can open a film and have this running so you can send that over Windows Live Messenger uh, video and then if you want to do sound as well you just do a voice conversation still images same thing still images just open a file snapshot same thing you can snapshot through your webcam desktop so you can have actually have your full desktop and have this go through your webcam feed so that's quite handy to do if you ever want to show someone what to do over the internet and a blank image which I'll leave it at for the second now effects, you can add your own little cool effects like a cow mask and then you can put your eyes in there or something um, frog mask so this is quite fun to muck about with now you can have um, more than one effect as you can see so it's got a clear all button so I'm not going to try this because I'll look stupid well I'll look stupid anyway that's why I'm not showing you <laughs> um, so ob add objects so you can have like a flag as well oops you're trying to use more than three animations at once which means it's crowded uh, backgrounds now this one you have to take a snapshot beforehand uh, so it kind of sees your face and then works out where the background is for when you're actually moving on the webcam so you have to take a snapshot first I think for it to work properly and you have a border and things like that effects change the color shows you uh, previews here dynamic so you can have fire water snow for try fire that looks quite cool so you can have it in the background of your picture uh, lens you can have it so it, it um, can change the, uh, can morph your face basically into different things. Uh, face accessories, this will try and track where your face is and basically put eyebrows on and eyeglass, um, glasses on and things like that. Text over video, same thing as uh, what your cam was where you can just have text at the bottom or in the corner or something. Time, add a clock in the corner. Drawing over video, you can just draw yourself over the video. Now I'm going to show you, uh, well I've basically got this, this now. Um, I want to show this now onto Windows Live Messenger so I'm just going to go into the settings now it's going to make my my um, microphone really quiet so I'm just going to show you and then I'm going to alter my audio settings so I'm going to audio and video setup and eventually yep, here we go getting started next that's my output it's going to suddenly go quiet So as you can see, I changed it to have the um, this in the webcam. So now if I try and start a webcam conversation with Smart Child, show my webcam, it's now got, it, it, he declined it, but you can quickly notice that it's got my thing that I had on here. So you can then have your face on here and then show it through MSN Messenger or Windows Live Messenger, whatever you want to do. So very useful piece of software. These both are very useful pieces of software. I'll provide the links in the description and obviously you now know how to do it if you want to do a still photo just go on my computer and look for open your camera and then you can take pictures yourself so thanks for watching my video please comment rate subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again